How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just waiting on approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. Place looks empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck.
Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. <laughs> I got mud in my mouth. <laughs> uh. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Ray? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money-up-front kind of mercenary. The rape's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. He's thinking the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah you're right. Hey, Sam, you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a child. Hey, is that a well? So, we were talking about... Um, oh, right. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. And what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Ah, see that smoke? Ooh, shoreline, slow down. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter. Uh, we're shoreline idiots. Blow it up ourselves. If we happen to find the treasure, we just skim a little finest fee off the top. Don't even think about it. I'm not about to have Nadine hang me because of you. Yeah, there's definitely something down there. No one will know. She'll know, the rest of the crew will know, and we'll be dead. Yeah, but I... I'm tired. So please drop it. Fine. <gasps> oh, shit. I saw something. Go make sure it's nothing. I'm on it. What you got? We don't clear. Wait.
Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. Oh, I tried. I asked them to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. Well, that would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back. Whoa! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Okay, remind me what we were talking about? Um, oh, right. I got my own back when the Warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. <clears throat> Whoa! You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. So, pirate walks into a bar. Oh, great. Here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey, man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, ah, he's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. Clear. <laughs> 